Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 12th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about operator precedence. Now, this is something that you really don't need know, you know, unless you're a student and you have to write an exam on C or if you, you know, uh, plan to go for job interviews, you know, operator precedence is something that people talk about a lot and, um, you know, particularly during job interviews and, you know, you, you might see questions, um, you know, in your exam papers if you're a student you know, a lot of questions on operator precedence, but trust me, it's something that you really don't have to know. You can pass without knowing what operator precedence is, but I'm just going to, you know, spend one tutorial and talk about what it is. And uh, I'm going to keep this tutorial short and sweet. That's uh, enough of me talking and let's just uh, get straight into things. So I've saved this file. It's called operator underscore precedence dot C. On line one, you have the header file. On line two, you have the main function, the curly braces, and we can type in our code. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create five integers. Yes, I'm going to create five integers and I'm going to call them A, B, C, D, E, five uh, variables. And uh, all of them are going to be of the integer data type. So A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D, comma, E. And I'll put a semicolon to terminate the statement. Now I'm going to give values to four of these variables. I'm going to initialize A, B, C, and D. And uh, then I'm going to perform an arithmetic operation and, you know, um, assign the value of that expression to the variable e and then we're going to print the variable e and then we're going to talk about operator precedence so uh, i'll give a the value 10 and on the same line i'll just put a semicolon and give b the value 5 and i'll uh, give c the value well, what value should i give you c give c the value 5 2 and uh, i'll give d the value 10 okay so all four of these values our integer values so sure she is not going to have any problem with this and uh, now I'm going to perform an arithmetic operation and it's going to be a divided by B plus C multiplied by D right now I'll put a semicolon and I'll um, give the value of this thing to E by placing the assignment operator between the sim between the variable E and the uh, expression right so this thing is going to be evaluated and the result of the expression is going to be stored in the variable e now let's see what gets stored in e and uh, then we're going to talk about what has happened so result of the expression is and since uh, e is an integer we'll have to use the percentage d format specifier here and uh, I'll just have to type in the symbol E to see the value that gets stored in the variable and save the file and click on build and run to see the output and you see that the result of the expression is 52 but hang on uh, should we have got 52 or should we have got something else now we've divided A by B so 10 times 10 divided by 5 is 2 and then that had to be added to the variable C so 2 plus 5 has to be 7 and then had that had to be multiplied by d and since d is 10 uh, 7 times 10 is 70 but what we're getting as the output is 52 and the reason why that is the output is that the division operator and the multiplication operator you know these operators enjoy higher priority uh, than the addition operator and what I mean by that is that there is this uh, order of precedence of uh, operators right so there's this chart that you can memorize if you want to and uh, in that chart the division operator happens to be before the addition operator and also the multiplication operator happens to be before the addition operator so you know these two operators the division and multiplication operators they enjoy greater priority over the addition operator and as well as the subtraction operator right so what has happened instead is that <clears throat> sorry 10 was divided by 5 the result of that is 2 and then c was multiplied by d so 5 times 10 is 50 and then the two things were added so 2 plus 50 is 52 and that's why you see 52 is the output here right so that's because uh, as i said you know there is this chart which you can memorize and i tried to do it once and it's really very boring so i just um, skipped doing that and um, there's always a smart way of doing things and i use parentheses and, um, you know, if suppose you want to do something different in this expression, you know, let's suppose you want to add B and C first and then divide A 
by the result of the addition of B and C and then multiply that thing, the entire thing, with the value that's stored in D, you can do that. It's still possible. And the way in which you do that is by using parentheses. Right? So you put B plus C in one set of parentheses and you put A divided by B plus C in another set of parentheses. So what C would do now is it would perform the operation in the innermost parentheses in the expression and the innermost parentheses happens to contain B plus C. So B plus C would be performed first. So 5 would be added to 5 and the result of that is 10 and then A would be divided by the value that uh, is obtained when B is added to C. So you know 10 by 10 or 10 divided by 10 is 1 and then 1 would be multiplied to D and D has 10 so 1 times 10 is 10. So if I would let me just save this program and uh, I'll have to close this window first to execute the program again. I click on build and run and you see that the result of the expression now is 10. So as I said earlier you know I prefer using parentheses because um, Sometimes uh, if your expression is long, then it would just be difficult for you to remember the order of precedence and you know, it's just more convenient to use parentheses and sometimes it can get a little cumbersome if you're using parentheses, you know, it might get difficult for you to see the code or understand it. But trust me, you know, when you're typing in code and when you're evaluating expressions, then it's always more convenient to use parentheses than it is to remember the order of precedence or to keep the chart, you know, with you all the time as um, you know a reference table or something so that's it for this tutorial i just wanted to uh, talk about operator precedence a little and in the next tutorial we're going to discuss something interesting again and uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already see you soon